Hey everybody, welcome back to Gillen's Garage. And behind me here I have a custom built pallet rack cart. Now, I'm gonna use this cart to set my van body on. You guys could use it for whatever you want. But what's pretty cool is I had a bunch of this pallet racking upright left over and I thought, hey, what's the perfect way I can use it? Basically get some inch and five eighths unistrut slips right in between here. You can weld it fast, you can make this thing uh, whatever height you want. If you wanted it the height I got it at, it's basically seven holes exposed. Or if you wanted this thing up higher, like a grinding table or welding table, something you could roll outside and do your welding out in the fresh air, you can do it. That's the nice thing about this. But what is really cool is that it tears down in a matter of about two minutes. And the same for Putting it back together, this thing goes up in about two minutes. What's really cool too is if you wanted to, if you were doing a chassis or you were building a frame or whatever, you could lock these wheels in, get this thing leveled up. If you needed to temporarily weld anything to support, to create a jig or whatnot, you can do that. Tack weld it on there, lock it into place, cut it off when you're done, tear this thing apart, stand it up in the corner where it's out of the way, and it's gonna make just about the most versatile thing uh, you can. I, I, when I was researching after I got this thing done, I saw a lot of guys that had welded things permanently together, where you got this big cart that when you're done with it, uh, what are you gonna do with it? it you're gonna cut it all apart and, and, and lose all that time? Or guys that were building these carts out of wood, and uh, yeah, who wants to do that? We got welders. So basically, I welded a 3 8 plate on the bottom of this, drilled it for some uh, casters that I got off eBay that are rated for 800 pounds a piece. So I really think that's probably the weakest link in this whole thing. So this whole uh, cart should be rated at, at 3,200 pounds. If you got some heavier casters, you could, uh, you could go more than that. But heck, I think I could probably put a whole Bronco 2 sitting right on this thing and roll it around if I needed to. But basically, I'll give you a rundown of how to tear it down, how to put it back together, and show you some helpful uh, points of what not to do when putting this together so that it goes together easily. So thanks for tuning in. If you guys like this, like and subscribe, and uh, you'll be able to see this in action in the future episodes when I put the van body on this, and you'll see it in action. So all right everybody. Well as you can see I got that thing all tore apart and what did that take? Less than two minutes. Uh, so these can be stood up, these wheels can be locked, they can be stored out of the way, these beams can be stood up in a corner or uh, laid flat up on the top of my pallet racking or whatever, but just the ease of assembly and disassembly make this just an absolutely versatile uh, work table, chassis, uh, cart, you name it, whatever you want to do. All right, guys, I thought I'd uh, do a quick video of putting this thing back together just to show you how easy that is as well. Uh, I think the easiest way is to lock the caster so they're not rolling around on you. Put the bottom beams on both sides, and then once that's installed, put the top beams on. So, here we go.
All right, guys, let me show you why I had to hammer that a little bit. Uh, I'm showing you this so that you don't do it when you build it. All right, so you see where I have it stitched across the front on both sides, and I also welded across the back. Well, I, I made this uh, piece of Unistrut go the whole way to the end, which I like that idea, but if you do that, you definitely wanna notch these sides back like a quarter of an inch to give yourself clearance for the ears of the cross beam. If you notice here, that lines up perfectly coming right down through the center of this pocket. And so I ended up having to bend mine out of the way. So things are a little bit tight, but you guys, if you keep that cut back in here, keep that back off uh, about a quarter of an inch, those things will drop right in and you won't have to hammer it on it like mine. I had to bend these out of the way and things are just still a little tight. All right, everybody, I hope you found this helpful. Uh, I really think that this could be used in a, a, a multitude of applications. So if you wanna see it used, it, for my case, I'm gonna be setting a van body on this chassis. Then I'll be able to put the, the van frame up on the lift and start reassembling the frame and really get rolling. So the nice thing is the van body will be down on the floor. If I want to sound deaden or do any work on the van, it's just a, basically, this thing will be at ride height of just step up in, do whatever work I need to do, step out, and it's not like moving the lift up and down. So it should increase productivity at the same time. So again, you guys can modify this in any way you want with height, shorten it, uh, do with it whatever you need. If you guys want to see more stuff like this in the future um, and van products and Ford products and you name it, stick around the channel. Like, subscribe, do any of that fun stuff. I appreciate you guys checking me out and we'll see you on the next one.